And now, CBS 6 Sports, sponsored by your local upstate Chevy dealers. Hey everyone in sports, it's time to hand out some hardware. Sectional Championship Weekend has arrived up at Cool Insuring Arena. Two titles on the line in boys hoops tonight. So, who came out on top? Let's find out. Up first, the Class C title between Maple Hill and Duanesburg. The Eagles without their star Jeffrey Mulhern, but his counterpart stepping up big time. Ethan Thompson getting the and one. Duanesburg going to the half up 12. But in the third, the Wildcats stormed back. Brady Cole eyeing up a three and connecting. Maple Hill down just five going to the fourth. Then fast break. Nick Novak count the basket and the foul. Novak giving the Wildcats the lead that lead would get up to as high as six in the fourth. Thanks to Cole, he'd have 14 points. Now, less than two to play. Duanesburg needing a bucket down four. Jansen Peru, a clutch three here. One point game, 44-43. Duanesburg ball now, under 20 seconds left. Thompson looking to be the hero, but he stepped out of bounds. It's a turnover. The Eagles would get the ball back though, but it was only a tenth of a second left on the clock. They don't even get a shot off. Not enough time to get that shot off. And Maple Hill, their second half surge, crowning them as Class C champs, 44-43. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's, it was our big goal coming into the year. Now we, we won for Truins. It's a tough Hudson team. Coming here against a tough Dwaynesburg team, win sectionals. I, I mean, this is just what we've all been dreaming for for this season, but now I get now I get to dance some more. They play for one another, and they just play hard. They love being around one another. Like, listening to them, they're like little kids. They're so funny. Um, but it, for me, it's, it's important for them. I'm, I'm so happy for them because they put in the work. And what a celebration it was for the Wildcats. Maple Hill now moving on to the state tournament for just the second time since 2010. Next up was the Class B title game, a Lilac family showdown between Bruce Lilac's Stillwater and Alex Lilac's Mechanicville. The Warriors winning both meetings this regular season, and they came to play right away. That's Lucas Lilac money from three moments later. Lilac again from range. He's going to bury yet another three. Stillwater up early, but... The Red Raiders wouldn't go down without a fight. Colin Richardson with a triple of his own on the other end. Then Richardson again. Why not? He was feeling it. And the Cinderella team was taking the lead in the second quarter. But it was a tale of two halves. The third and fourth quarters were all still water. The Warriors take the title. They outscored Mechanicville 39-16 to in the second half to win 70-41. to Now over at Hudson Valley Community College, girls class double-A semis going on. Averill Park. Facing Niskuna, this one was all Averill Park right from the jump. Taylor Holohan getting the basket. Then Ariana Verardi going to connect from deep. Averill Park, they're one of the top teams in the state for a reason, and they showed why in this game. The Warriors looking to repeat. They're going right back to the sectional championship, winning 59-24. to Now who's going to take on AP, either Columbia or Bethlehem? Let's go right to the fourth quarter in a back-and-forth finish. Blue Devils, Kendall, we met, making that basket. Columbia up nine, but... The Eagles going on a little bit of a run. Caitlin Robbins, two straight clutch shots. It was an 8-0 run for Bethlehem. We go to under 90 seconds left. Paige Davenport for the lead. She gets the shooter's bounce. 63-61 Bethlehem. Bethlehem up 66-63. Now Columbia, last shot we met to force overtime. It is off. Rebound Bethlehem. They run out the clock. What a fourth quarter comeback from the Eagles. They're moving on. 66-63. And finally, Patroon basketball is back. Albany taking on the Jamestown Jackals at the Armory tonight. The Patroons down most of the way. Use some highlight real plays to get back in it. Albany, they're off to a hot start, guys. They win their first game of the 2024 season in come-from-behind fashion, 119 to 113. Guys. Great highlights tonight. Bravo. A lot more to go. All right, I know. you got a big <laughs> weekend ahead of you with all those championship games. It'll um, be good to uh, watch basketball indoors tomorrow oh. because the rain is on the way. We'll take it. I'm staying inside. <laughs> <laughs> there you heard it. Well, we hope you have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Good night.